guys, Thomas from Team Soccer Russell here, coming at you guys with five cards to grab from King's Court. Now, this is actually a really, really awesome set. The last set we had that was a side set that was as good as this was probably Toon Chaos itself. And just like Toon Chaos, there is a lot of sleeper cards in this set. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys five cards that you should be buying on pre-sale or a few days after. If you like this type of video, make sure to smash that like button. If we could get 50 likes on this video, that would be great. If you're buying any cards like the five I'm mentioning on TCG Player or anything on TCG Player, please use my affiliate link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to know this will cost you. Consider subscribing to the channel and being a YouTube channel member. And we're going to get right into it. So the first card I have here is World Legacy Guard Dragon Super Rare. And the reason why I have this is because... The pre-sale price is actually ridiculous. It's 50 cents and it should be at least 10 times higher than that. The reason being is because when this card first got a reprint, uh, being about almost $20, it was a dollar for the ultra rare, or the secret rare reprint. And a lot of people thought to themselves, oh, it's not gonna go past like three, four dollars, and it's gonna take a long time. That version within one year ended up touching ten dollars. Uh, right? So if you bought a playset for you know a dollar each as three dollars about a year later, not even, you would have had yourselves $30. World Legacy Guard Dragon is a very competitive card, seeing that it can make its way in any competitive Dragon deck, especially any uh, Dragon Link deck, seeing that it can also be searchable in some strategies as well, um, and that the card is easily more than a one of in a lot of strategies. So I like to say that history likes to repeat itself. However, this isn't even coming out at a dollar. This is coming out at 50 cents here. I think this is one of the best and most underrated penny stonks of this set, especially since a lot of it's going to be cracked open to, you know, find the Egyptian God. So we're, whatever type of singles we get from this is kind of whatever we have. So what I would personally do is I would invest into like six, seven, eight or nine copies. Uh, my point is I would actually grab quite a bit of copies, store them somewhere, wait a couple months and then just reap a lot of profit because spending 50 cents, even if these go up since Dragon Link is quite harmed and the card is not seeing as much play as it did in 2019 and 2020. I could see this card at least going up to four, maybe five dollars. So paying not even a dollar for this is a very, very good investment. So I definitely would grab a ton of copies while you can because this pre-sale price is just ridiculous. Now the second card I have here is Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. Now this card was a lot of money when we first got announced. It was like forty dollars, thirty, and right now it's only about ten, eleven dollars. What this card essentially does is it's essentially a gear free card and a joker card that essentially lets you pop up a card on the field if it is targeted and it gains attack from banishing spells. It's an okay overall card, but the point is, is not only do people want to play it because a lot of people actually like playing the whole joker deck, uh, especially because it's, it's a joker deck. That just sounds awesome. But it's also very, very collectible. So seeing them at, at regular ultras at 10 or $11 reminds me of Toon Black Luster Solder when it was about 10 or $11, going up to about 15 This card right now is actually very, very cheap for pre-sale, and I could see it down the line going quite a, uh, up quite a bit. So I would compare it to Toon Black Luster Solder in that sense because of that. Um, I would say I would grab a place of this because $10, $11 is just really, really cheap. If this was at least $20, $25, i would say, okay, you could be content grabbing one. But this is a card that I believe the pre-sale price is not doing it justice at all. So I would definitely be ahead of the curve. If you guys want to wait a little and you think it's going to drop even more, maybe $7, $8, that's completely fine. But even if you pay the $10, $11 now, it's going to skyrocket in a couple months. Uh, especially depending on the demand of this set and what people want. And like I said, the collector's rares are actually made for collectors this time, right? Not just for a player who wants to play a casual deck and just four random, you know, collector's rares for a pendulum decks. No, collectors are not going to pay that. But speaking of collector rares, we're going to get onto our next one. And that's collector's rare reinforcement of the army. Listen, I was waiting for a secret rare for so long and we finally got it 15 years later. Uh, in a Speed Duel Battle City box, and I was over the moon. Now, this is a card that I wanted, Ultimate Rare for, uh, and something along those lines. I never thought of a Collector's Rare. And a lot of other players who love Warrior decks, because since you could play Warrior decks in so many formats, even right now to this day, Road is basically a card that's never going to be aged out, right? It, it, the only reason it would not be used in a Warrior strategy is if they had some type of searcher that was even more broken and more e uh, easier to gain access to than Rhoda, which I highly doubt would happen. But collector's rares are starting at $190. 
they were 250 and I thought to myself, that's a lot of money. And the reason why I have this on the list is because even at 190, it's still gonna go up over time because it's going to be the highest rarity of reinforcement of the army. And a lot of people are gonna want it, especially to bring out old school format decks. So collect, it's an actual collector's card. People want it for old formats, people want it for current uh, format. This card is one of the only real cards in there, even not even the god cards that are, you know, obviously a lot more money in their ultra rare forms and their secret rare forms. They're not even going to be as played or as wanted as reinforcement of the army, uh, not value wise, but because again, Rota can be used again for any player, casual, collector, competitive, anything. I think the collectors are going to drop, keep dropping a bit more as the set gets more and more cracked. If when reinforcement of the army goes 150 or below, that is when I would grab it. However, 190 is still not a bad price. I just think that it can go a bit lower since we are still in pre-sale. So remember, take this advice with a grain of salt. If you buy them at 190 and it goes to 140, don't feel too bad. It will go up more in the future. But if you want to wait a little bit, that's fine as well. I will leave the decision to you guys. Also, since we're in the middle of the video, I just want to say, what are you guys looking for in King's Court? Uh, I really do want some of the Egyptian gods. I'm not going to lie. I want the Collector's Rare Reinforcement Army. I want everything on these five, this top five cards. And I kind of want a Collector's Rare Queen's Knight since I got rid of my Ultimate Rare because I just didn't really like it and I wasn't really happy with it. It was way too inflated uh, for me to actually want. But a Collector's Rare is a whole lot cheaper and it looks nice. So let me know in the comments section below what you guys want from King's Court and what cards do you think are good investments as well. Now I'm going to get to the fourth card. And the fourth card is actually another penny stock, and this is ZW Leo Arms. Now, this is a 15 cent rare coming out of King's Court, and the reason why I think this is actually a very good investment is because something like ZW Leo Arms uh, is used in uto a lot of Utopia strategies, and this is a card that doesn't have a reprint outside of Cosmo Blazer, so this is the most accessible version for a lot of players, and the reason why I think this uh, version is the better one to grab is because the profit margin is a lot larger. Anyone who wants ulti or liked ultis already has their ultis for the most part. And the rest of the, most of the people who want an ulti still either pass on it because it's too much money or they can't afford it right now or they'd rather spend the money on something else. You guys get the point, right? And even the ultra rare, while nice, is still worth quite a hefty amount. And a lot of people like me would rather go big or go home. This 15 cent version is the version that most players are actually that want to play the Utopia strategy are going to play with, especially since the other Utopia cards they need are actually quite a bit of money. So they want to try to save and cut corners wherever they can. I think this is a good penny stock because this can easily go up to a two, three dollar card. And I think it's being very underestimated right now. It is also from the anime as well. So it also has that collectability and a lot more people are starting to collect from Zexel. And even though they'd want the higher rarity versions, seeing a version at 15 cents is appealing to anybody, especially any collector, right? If there was a blue eyes for 15 cents, I would love that. I would I still have a ton of blue eyes. I'd still want a 15 cent blue eyes. I Just for fun, why not, right? Uh, especially if Blue Eyes didn't have, you know, 100,000 printings, but it does. So it's not the best comparison, but I think there's a good pay stock to go with two, three dollars. So I would get a lot of rares while you can, especially since a lot of people are willing to get rid of their bulk, uh, this as bulk. It's not a lot, it's not like you have to buy them at 15 cents and then you can only get two, three copies. You have to go to another seller. Right now, you can basically buy a good amount of copies at 15 cents and not have to keep paying the shipping. So I would definitely grab your ZWD arms while you can. Uh, the last and final card for this one is actually uh, related to Utopia. This is Collector's Rare Utopia. And I'm gonna explain why this is actually, I prefer this a lot more than what they did with the whole Starlight version or uh, hieroglyphic version as some people call it. Um, the reason why is because the hieroglyphic version, any version of Utopia is going to go up, right? Especially if it's a high rarity version. Uh, the Starlight-esque Utopia, I still don't know what they're exactly called from Battles of Legend Army again, so I apologize if I keep switching it up. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, by the way, if you do know, because I'm just lazy with that, I completely forgot. But they were about $300, now they're around 550 and every version of Utopia does go up. This is a lot easier to pay for, because I'd rather pay $100 and get an awesome Utopia than a $300 to $500 version, $300 then initially going up to $550. This collector drawer will also age and go up to about two, dollars $300 because it's a higher rate of Utopia and people are going to want this over the other version because it's in English, right? And while people think the whole anime aesthetic is cool, there are people who are going to want to play it. They want the English version or they don't like how it looks in Battles of Legends and they want the 
uh, collectors were instead. And seeing that it's only a hundred, hundred five dollars, a lot more people who would not touch a five hundred fifty dollar card or a three four hundred dollar card, they might be willing to actually get a hundred dollar card. Uh, that is a lot easier for them to access, especially right now when sales are low. This is a collector's rare that is going to age like fine wine and is very guaranteed. So I would grab your copies while you can because it's very cheap and seeing that people want to play the Utopia strategy, again, maybe people who wouldn't have bought a card like this will actually put in the money and be like, hey, I'll buy this. And if this drops below to something like 80 or 90, that's when I would definitely grab them. So. If you have the money, I would grab two copies. You could grab three as well. It's gonna be more profit for you. But again, you're probably gonna be holding them for a while. So make sure that you do have the patience for that. You're not gonna hold them for a month and they're gonna skyrocket. You're gonna hold them for a couple months to a year and then they're gonna start going up. So it is a very safe long-term investment if you're looking for a collector's right here, especially if King's Court does anything. This kind of applies for all the cards, but especially the two collector's rares I've mentioned. Uh, if King's Court is anything like Tomb Chaos with the way it sells and we just cannot find it, uh, similar to Tomb Chaos or there's like a huge scalping problem, etc., the collector's rares are all going to go up. Even the bad collector's rares from Tomb Chaos went up. So make sure you have your copies. Uh, like usual, if you guys can smash that like button, again, 50 likes would be awesome. If you guys can let me know in the comments as well what you're looking for in King's Court, if you're using any. If you're buying any cards from the five cards I have in your trade binder, well, well not five cards I have in your trade binder, but five cards I have from King's Court on TCG Player, please use my affiliate link down in the description below. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.